as NASA's effort to overcome the final horizon. But amidst the victories and tributes, there existed a dark mystery, a secret harbored by one of the brave souls who journeyed to the lunar surface. But before his passing, this Apollo astronaut made an incredible revelation. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you have done. Thank you, Mr. President. Revealing a horrifying secret that he'd kept to himself all these decades. What exactly is this terrifying secret, and why did it take him so long to finally reveal this hidden and closely guarded truth? Join us as we unravel how an Apollo astronaut revealed a terrifying secret just before his death. Journey to the moon, for ages, humans have gazed at the moon with wonder. It's been like a guiding light in the night sky, not just a distant object but a celestial companion that plays a crucial role in shaping our world. They've known for a long time that the moon's gravitational pull keeps the Earth in its orbit, maintaining the delicate balance that allows life to grow. Its influence even extends to the tide and flow of the ocean, tides a constant reminder of its power. But their passion for the moon goes beyond just observation. Since the aftermath of World War II, brutal competition occurred between the United States and the Soviet Union, spanning various arenas including economics, culture, and most notably, military and space exploration. The race to overcome space became a symbol of fame and power. When Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet cosmonaut, became the first human to journey into outer space in 1961, it aroused a heated race to reach new celestial heights. And then, in 1969, came the important achievement of the Apollo 11 mission led by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. The crew achieved the supposedly impossible feat of landing on the lunar surface. As Armstrong famously remarked, it was one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. This singular event marked a crucial milestone in their journey to the stars, showcasing their readiness to explore the universe. The crew of Apollo 11 is highly respected in schools and society, and rightly so. These men took huge risks and achieved something remarkable. Even today, only a few have accomplished what they did. While Armstrong and Aldrin are often the focus of discussions about space research, there's another member of the crew who deserves more recognition, Michael Collins. Born in Rome in 1930, Collins was raised in a military family. Following in his father and brother's footsteps, he joined the Air Force. After flying several missions, he was chosen as one of NASA's third group of 14 astronauts in 1963. A few years later, Collins was selected for the Apollo 11 mission. His role during the mission was crucial yet often overlooked. While Armstrong and Aldrin made history by setting foot on the moon, Collins piloted the command module orbiting the moon while they conducted their lunar activities. Collins's contribution was vital to the success of the mission, yet he didn't receive the same level of attention as his fellow astronauts. Aldrin and Armstrong separated from the main spacecraft and flew to the moon in their lunar module called Eagle, while Michael remained in the main craft, guiding it from the command module. This happened on July 12, 1969. When the Eagle landed on the moon's surface, it marked a significant milestone in human history, confirming their arrival on a completely new frontier. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to step foot on the moon, carving their names into the annals of history and signaling a new era for humanity. During their almost two-hour stay on the moon, Armstrong and Aldrin performed various experiments, gathered samples of lunar rocks, and proudly planted the American flag. Their huge achievement was further expanded when they made a direct call to President Nixon from the lunar surface, with the conversation broadcasted for the world to hear. Amidst all the excitement, Michael played a crucial role back in the command center. While he could have joined his fellow astronauts on the moon, he remained dedicated to his duty, ensuring the spacecraft stayed on its designated course and operating the command center with accuracy and focus. His selfless commitment signified the teamwork and determination that motivated the historic mission forward. After joining Michael back in the main spacecraft, Neil and Armstrong embarked on their journey home on July 24. Finally, on that day, the crew of Apollo 11 gracefully splashed down into the largest of the Pacific Ocean, marking the successful conclusion of their historic journey. The astronauts were not just celebrated, they were honored by people worldwide with a special emotion. In the United States, their feet symbolized the satisfaction of a dream that had lasted for centuries, a dream shared by countless scientists and visionaries who yearned to touch the lunar surface and live among the stars. The space race was a crucial part of the Cold War, not just because it showcased technological skill but also because it symbolized the serious rivalry between the USA and the USSR. 
This period witnessed remarkable developments in space exploration fueled by the brutal competition between these two superpowers from the late 1950s to the 1960s. There was an extraordinary pace in the exploration of space. The USSR took an early lead with groundbreaking achievements. They launched Sputnik, the world's first satellite, in 1957, and in 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first human to journey into space. These milestones were not just displays of technological superiority but also served as global spectacles, highlighting the Soviet Union's space skills and putting pressure on the United States to keep up. Both nations pushed the boundaries during this period, striving to achieve remarkable feats in space exploration. It was a period characterized by daring innovation and relentless competition, driving humanity's quest to overcome the final horizon. The space race was an incredibly thrilling and serious time that captured the imagination of people everywhere across the globe. Individuals eagerly tuned in as each new mission embarked on its journey into the vast unknown of space. The United States, in particular, put in a huge effort to catch up, resulting in groundbreaking achievements such as sending astronauts to the moon. However, this rivalry wasn't just about reaching outer space, it was a brutal contest to demonstrate which nation was the most powerful and innovative. Every milestone achieved in space exploration became a source of huge pride, showcasing each country's strength to the world. This competitive spirit not only propelled improvements in space technology but also fundamentally changed our understanding of the universe. The space race catalyzed both nations to seek excellence. It was a period marked by numerous firsts as boundaries were pushed and history was made. The intense competition between the USA and the USSR sparked a remarkable focus on space exploration, transforming their rivalry into a shared pursuit of discovery that left a memorable impact not only on themselves but on the entire world. The United States didn't want to fall behind in space exploration. They were determined, led by President John Fitzgerald Kennedy. The country set an ambitious goal. They wanted to send a person to the moon and bring them back safely before the 1960s ended. This was a big deal and set the stage for what's known as the Apollo program. Even though they faced some tough times at the beginning, they kept going, and eventually, in 1969, something amazing happened. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to walk on the moon during the Apollo 11 mission. It was a huge moment that many people saw as the United States winning the space race. This race had pushed both sides to push the limits of what was possible in space. But it wasn't just about winning a race. The competition sparked all sorts of new ideas and inventions. It led to better rockets, ways to talk to each other through satellites, and new ways for people to travel in space. Take, for example, the Apollo missions. These were journeys to the moon led by the United States. To make these trips possible, scientists had to build the Saturn V rocket, which was the strongest rocket ever built at that time. This rocket was like a giant engine that propelled astronauts toward the moon. But the Apollo missions were about more than just going to the moon. They sparked a wave of progress in different fields. Scientists and engineers had to come up with new ways to solve problems, like how to navigate through space and how to communicate with astronauts. Millions of miles away, they also had to develop new materials that could withstand the harsh conditions of space. Beyond the scientific advancements, the Apollo missions were part of a larger competition called the Space Race. This was a showdown between the United States and the Soviet Union during the Cold War. The Soviets took an early lead by launching the first satellite and sending the first human into space. These achievements made the world take notice and wonder who would come out on top in this new frontier. When the United States successfully landed on the moon, it wasn't just about planting a flag or taking a giant leap for mankind. It was a statement of American imagination and determination. It showed the world that the United States was a leader in research and creation, capable of achieving the seemingly impossible. So, the Apollo missions were more than just historic moments in space exploration, they were symbols of human intention, perseverance, and the endless possibilities of what they can achieve when they work together towards a common goal. After the space race wrapped up, how countries ventured into space started to change. Instead of competing fiercely, they began to cooperate. A crucial turning point was the Apollo-Soyuz test project in 1975. This historic event marked the meeting of an American spacecraft with a Soviet one in space, symbolizing the capacity for former space rivals to cooperate. It wasn't merely about ending a race, it signaled the start of a new era where nations supported each other in space exploration efforts. 
Thereafter, they witnessed grander joint ventures, such as constructing and employing the International Space Station and orchestrating missions together to deepen their understanding of space. Reflecting on the space race, it occurs as a pivotal period surpassing beyond a mere contest between two nations to outshine each other in space. It was also a time fraught with earthly tensions between them. However, it urged humanity to accomplish remarkable feats in space research. The dedication and victories during that period laid the groundwork for all successive space exploration efforts. Presently, the allure of space exploration captivates people worldwide, inspiring them to seek breakthroughs and advancements in science and technology. The journey of exploring space underscores the serious realization that collective effort can achieve extraordinary feats once deemed impossible, and humanity boldly ventured forth into the unknown, unsung hero.